So the idea was to have the homes walk or move easily to the next location. And then when we looked at where, where there were locations, we found that the biggest problem was land. There is really almost no uh, availability for land for affordable homes, as, as conventional um, contractors and, and solutions are finding out. But there's huge areas of tarmac car parking, surface car parking, 1.2 million parking spaces, public parking spaces in the UK. Um, we've done a year now of testing this idea at various, uh, various car parks all over the place. And we're finding that we get a, for every 10 parking spaces, we achieve two of these very small um, affordable homes. So the idea was to place them above parking in a unique way, which they sit on a steel framed raft foundation with rubber pads that exert the same pressure on the ground as a conventional car or a van. Um, so you don't have to pay for foundations. You don't have to pay for land unless the landowner wants something for his air rights. Um, the, the homes are built in, uh, erected on site in one day, and we set up flying factories that build these homes uh, one pod every two weeks, and it just depends on how many parallel production lines you, you have. And we came up with this idea because we started putting solar farms over parking spaces to try and stop people putting solar farms over fields all over the uh, British countryside. They withdrew the feed-in tariff or reduced it, so we then looked at adding value, so we put homes underneath the solar farms. And then we looked at ways of making the car parking spaces uh, increase in amenity. So we've got urban orchards, uh, shared communal realm. Um, so we can turn your average supermarket car park or, or, or DIY store or, or just simple uh, council-owned car park um, at the back of uh, some shopping parade. We can turn that into affordable homes virtually overnight and we can have these homes made by local people very quick, quickly indeed. They're one parking space wide and two parking spaces long. You get a deck access on one side, a balcony on the other, and there's enough um, homes are sufficiently energy efficient to, um, to, to, to be able to run on a little 400 watt um, uh, evaporator plate heat pump. Which then means that there, that there are so, so, so few, uh, that the energy demand is so small that in fact, um, there's no point in even uh, bothering to send anybody a bill. So they are, in fact, zero energy bills homes. We then have an electric bike system uh, uh, and docking system so that people who live in these homes don't need to use the uh, parking space below because that's already being used by somebody else. Um, and we could produce about somewhere between, well, roughly 200,000 homes uh, in the UK uh, using this idea uh, as quickly as anyone uh, wanted. Um, we've patented the, uh, the, the, the idea and the, and, and, and the particular technology. We've moved the columns into the centre of the, of, the, of the parking bay, which means you can open your car doors. And we don't use uh, urethane foams, and we don't use steel uh, shipping containers as our structure. We use breathing walls, because when you have very, very small spaces, um, vapour permeability is incredibly important to, to comfort, and so is indoor air quality. So I do want to debate about how we build off-site and can we use uh, super insulation, some of the ideas that, uh, that have come from the environmental movement to improve the quality and durability of off-site construction because I don't think it's there at the moment. Um, avoiding thermal bridging is, is a really big deal. Um, we use local timber. This is, uh, this is uh, UK timber. Um, we use pretty well any timber framing factory you want. We got... 1.3 air changes per hour at 50 pascals test pressure, um, and we, we're improving on that. We have very simple um, services plans. Um, we're running on a, a increasing the system to make it uh, more, more flexible for commercial spaces as well, so we can do mixed-use communities, not just residential, so you can have a pop-up village where people live and work. We're only grid connecting about 30% of the time because we have a advanced uh, lithium battery storage which plugs into the street lighting circuit um, and we're running we're organizing electric vehicle charging bays um, under under our under our uh, under these pods because as the world moves along uh, across to electric vehicles they're going to need a lot more uh, charging infrastructure so um, where this is going uh, is is really uh, a very simple uh, idea 
It's very quick to set up. We can take a, uh, a rented shed um, and produce a, uh, using some, 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 some prefabricated uh, subcomponents, which we can tender competitively, so we can have maybe four or five or six different suppliers all doing the uh, hot dip galvanized uh, steel uh, framework. We can have a variety of different timber framers making the infill panels. Um, it becomes very quick to, 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 to build one of these things, basically about uh, two days. They're very airtight, they're fireproof, um, no delamination of OSB and, 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 and foam insulation panels. They come with the renewable energy systems totally uh, integrated. The stair modules are, 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 are prefabricated and the whole thing is forkliftable. So you don't have the cost of a crane. So you can literally turn up with these things on the back of a truck, on their, on their skids. Um, they get forklifted into place and uh, in, in one day um, we, can, we did erect the, 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 the uh, trial thing in the trial installation in the BRE car park. So what we're trying to show here is that by decoupling the cost of providing zero carbon housing away from the cost of buying land, um, everybody can live in a zero energy bills, zero carbon home, in close to a city centre, close to public transport, um, and lead a, a much higher quality of life. And we're going to start this idea by targeting the under 30 key worker market. Um, uh, and and we, can, we can provide an affordable rent model, which provides these homes at around about £650 a month, including their energy bills and including their maintenance. But we do require um, a reasonable long lease. Now, most people, most young people that we've shown this to, um, are spending exactly the same amount of money um, hiring or renting a room in a shared, uh, shared house um, with very little privacy and all the disadvantages that come with, 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 with that idea. We have double height spaces inside which give you a slight feel of airiness. They, they, they terrace um, easily. Um, the one here isn't a terrace because we, we couldn't afford it. This is a rent map of London and there is no place within the M25 where this home is not more affordable than the current market offer. Um, and then we can take this idea to other cities like um, Oxford or, or, or Bristol. Um, we, this is where we were a year ago. This is EcoBuild uh, last year. Um, this is where we've been prototyping it in other countries. This is outside the Gallery of Modern Art in, in Shanghai. Um, and pr it's proving very popular as a way of solving the housing problem very quickly using, using a, a range of different typologies, but using this idea of, of, of parking your home. Very important is to show how, although the homes are very small, they can have communal spaces, which mean they can meet uh, space standards when clustered together, and you can enclose the spaces underneath the solar farm on back-to-back on -back units to, to uh, shield against acoustic intrusion um, if it's next to a railway line or a motorway. The homes are triple glazed, uh, alley clad timber windows, very high specification, much higher specification than a, than a typical RSL uh, affordable homes unit. You can have two bedroom versions, they all have heat recovery, uh, ventilation, super insulation. Um, that's a student model, that's a shared co-housing model, I don't know anyone does co-housing here. But that's, that's going to be a very popular uh, idea moving forward. Um, we can double stack them uh, if you want to increase density around a, a public transport node and we can start to add the uh, um, uh, urban orchards um, above the parking spaces to, to, to basically turn a car park into a um, lively uh, pop-up community. The homes last a minimum of uh, 50 or 60 years, although certain elements like sealed units and heat pumps will need replacing in that time. We're not using any rubbish components at all, um, and we're trying to show how using this idea we can take open space which is already developed with, with a single use, such as car parking, such as park and rides, such as supermarket car parks, and, and really make a big dent in the affordable homes problem. We can turn garage sites into, into affordable homes uh, virtually overnight, and we can take very ordinary uh, public car parks, this one's next to railway station, surrounded by low-rise Victorian um, 
uh, buildings. You can, you, can, you, can, you can create these pop-up mixed-use communities uh, very, very, very quickly indeed. So this is, this is where, we're, where we're going. Um, anyone who's got a car park, um, let me know. Um, we're tending to do models where we've, we've, we've raised the money from a solar farm provider to, to, to fund the rental rollout model, although obviously anybody can buy them. We want local communities to help build these, so some sort of pop-up factory. Um, and we, had a, we rented a factory in Cardiff and we were in production within two days with nearly no investment. So I hear all these people who are spending £40 million on their, on their super slick factories. You don't need to. There's a completely parallel universe where you can make do with relatively unskilled local labour. It's just how it goes together. If you can build an IKEA sofa, you can probably build one of these houses. Now, this is my daughter's skateboarding magazine. This is the cover of it. Um, we're not interested in generation rent. We want generation Z. And um, this is the way people, you know, a, a young 20-something-year-old uh, today dreams of, of uh, uh, an off-grid solar home. They don't dream of living in a shipping container stacked above um, God knows what. Thank you. Thank you.